Hey everyone, I'm pausing the video real quick to have a little bit of a confession. Um, I said in this video I was not going to use power tools, but with these 45 degree and 15 degree angle cuts, I was afraid to use my miter box because I wanted it to be perfect and I wanted this thing not to be wobbly. So I did use my miter saw for these particular cuts, but you don't have to if you have one of these and you have confidence. I don't have that much confidence right now uh, because it's been a while since I've been in the shop. So I did use my miter saw, but you don't have to. Also, with these being so sharp, I am going to round these off um, in the end when I do all the sanding. Um, again, if you don't want to use power tools, you can just use your uh, sandpaper. This is not the correct sandpaper, but just use regular sandpaper and sand it uh, manually. Or for me, I'm going to use my orbital sander since I need to round this off anyways um, to make life a little bit easier. But that's the only power tool other than my miter saw that I am going to use today. Um, and as for this dowel right here, this is a scrap piece of dowel that I found in my shop because it's the perfect diameter. This is an 1 8 by 48 inches. Um, so this needs to be cut about 26 inches. And so today might be my lucky day. Let's see. Put this over here at the end. And we are exactly or almost at 26 inches. So I don't have to cut this and that is great for me and if i did have to cut it i definitely would have used my miter box because it's just a straight cut and i have confidence in my straight cuts so with that said let's continue mm -hmm. 